In the last video, I showed you how to add this result count to your result page. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your search term, the term that you're going to type here in the search bar, into a custom message in the result page. So let me show you. We're going to go back to our search result template. We're going to go to the widgets tab, and we're going to search for Jet Engine's dynamic field. I'm going to grab this widget and drop it just above our heading. I'm going to go to source, and I'm going to set it to query variable. The variable name is going to be the letter S. Next, I'm going to go to Customize Field Output. I'm going to turn it on. And here in the field format, you can see you have a macro, a string. This is your search term, so don't delete it. And in this field, you can type your custom message. So for example, in front of the search term, I'm going to type Showing Results for. Next, I'm going to style it a little bit, so I'm going to go to the Style tab. I'm going to go to Widget Item Alignment, and I'm going to align it to the center. I'm going to go to Typography, and I'm going to set the size to 30 pixels. I'm going to go to the weight and set it to 700 bold. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to go and update. We're going to go to our homepage and I'm going to search for Range Rover. I'm going to go to our search result page. And as you can see, the search term appears in the message. Cool, right? Now let me show you another thing you can do. I'm going to go back to our homepage. And this time I'm going to search for a car brand that I don't have on my site. Let's say a Toyota. I'm going to go to the search result page. And as you can see, beside our custom message and our result count, we have here another message. Note that I was found. The source of this message is the listing grid. So if we're going to go back to our search result template, I'm going to select the listing grid. You're going to see the message over here. But at this moment, we cannot integrate our search term in this field. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to delete this message and we're going to create our own custom message for empty query. So I'm going to go and select our dynamic field. I'm going to go to field format and I'm going to paste my new custom message. Next, I'm going to go to advanced dynamic visibility and I'm going to turn it on. Show element if condition is met. Which condition? Query has no items. Now it asks for a query. So just like before, there is a link in the description to a video showing you how to create a search query. So I'm going to select the search result query. And now we are done with this message. Now I want to create a message if the query has items. So to do that, I'm going to go to the widgets tab. I'm going to grab a container and drop it above our listing grid. The direction is going to be row, and I'm going to justify it to the center. Next, I'm going to grab the result count heading and drop it into this container. I'm going to go to title and I'm going to click the query results count, advanced, and in the after field, I'm going to add the word more after results. Great. Now I'm going to select the dynamic field widget. I'm going to duplicate it and also drop it into this container. Next, I'm going to go to field format and I'm going to delete everything except our macro, which is our search term. Next, I'm going to go to advanced dynamic visibility. and I'm going to turn it off. Now, to fix this alignment problem, I'm going to select this heading. I'm going to go to Advanced, Align Self, Center. I'm going to also select this container. I'm going to go to Gap Between Elements and give it a 5. Now, let's go to Advanced, Dynamic Visibility, Turn It On, Show Element if Condition Met, Which Condition? Query Has Items. Which Query? The Search Results Query. Now we're at the big moment. Let's see if everything works. I'm going to update. I'm going to go to my homepage and I'm going to search for Toyota, which I don't have on my site. And as you can see, unfortunately, we could not find Toyota. Try another brand. Great. It works. We're going to go back. And this time I'm going to search for Lamborghini, which I do have on my site. And as you can see, there are three results more. It's a mistake. It's supposed to be four here. There are three results for Lamborghini. So change it. So that's how you can add your search term to a search result message. That's it for this one. Like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.